pursuing this Carvana. Oh, there's Carvana, there's Vroom, there's, I mean, in Canada, there's Canada Drives, Auto Trader, and they're all doing this similar thing, deliver vehicle to home, buy it online, etc. What do you see looking down the road as some of the new issues, perhaps, or evolved risk issues that dealers are going to face as we move into a remote retail environment? Yeah, so it's amazing to me when uh, dealers, I, I, it's one of the questions I ask when I go in and say, how many sales are happening at customers' houses? And in the States, there's a law called the Home Solicitation Act, which originally was, I think, I think the history behind that is the vacuum cleaner salesman who would ring on your, you know, ring your doorbell, throw dirt on your carpet and then, you know, vacuum it up. Right. And so people would buy vacuums and, and they, you know, they got sold vacuums for way overpriced. Right. And then the feds came in and said, we can't, can't do this anymore. Stop throwing and- dirt on people's carpets. <laughs> they don't like it anymore. Yeah. Right. But with the home solicit and there's, and I've talked to various lawyers who disagree on this. Mm. So amongst lawyers, this is uh, not, not a simple answer, but if you do, of course, it's that's a lawyer thing, right? I, and I'm Nothing now just picturing a group of lawyers sitting there going, you know who really grinds our gears? Door-to-door <laughs> vacuum sit. They got to be the scum of the earth. You know, like, I don't know why they're from the Bronx or whatever, but. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Um, but, the home, but the Home Solicitation Act says that if you do any selling at someone's home, that you're required to follow the act. Now, the, the, the worst part of this is if you don't follow the act and the act is you have to sign a piece of paper, giving them three days to bring the car back or, or whatever, you know, you're buying. Um, but if you do any negotiation or any selling at their house, then you're required the way I read it. And I'm not a lawyer, but I'm a compliance guy. So the right. way I read it is you have to, you have to follow it. If you don't follow it, The penalties are extraordinary. The penalties are that at any time, there's no time frame built into the code. So a customer could drive a car for four years and then come back to the dealer and say, uh, you didn't follow the Home Solicitation Act and I'd like all my money back. And the way that it reads is the dealer would have to give all the money back. That's the way it reads to me. So if you're doing any selling at a customer's house, and I don't know what Carvana or Vroom are doing about this, um, but if they're not following the Home Solicitation Act and they're listening, they can hire me and I'm going to tell them they should follow the Home Solicitation Act because what's the big deal? I mean, the big deal is that you have a three-day right of rescission. Well, a lot of these companies are giving people seven days to back out anyway, right? CarMax Right. You have a, I don't remember what their, their, their most recent uh, test drive. I think you test drive for either 24 hours or seven days. I don't remember, but th- this is just not a big deal. And, and they shy away from it because it's com- where compliance meets sales. And some dealers get a little upset when those two things, you know, collide. Mm-hmm. But, it, but the way that things are moving, for example, that's something from a compliance perspective that's going to have to be dealt with. I'm Michael Cirillo, and you've been listening to the Dealer Playbook Podcast. If you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button wherever you're listening right now. Leave a rating or review and share it with a colleague. Thanks for listening.